Welcome to um, Psychic Medium, Tony G. I'm Tony Green, and I'll be hosting the show today. So um, I am going to get started right away with a clearing or a healing, and today's clearing is going to be on... Oh, I know everybody always says abundance and money. So we're just going to do abundance. Um, let's see. There is something stopping or blocking abundance. Yep, I get a yes. Let's clear that to a no. Okay, so thank you everybody for joining me. I'm so grateful that you are here. What is a clearing? What is a healing? A clearing is basically a healing, but um, I just call it a clearing because it's clearing certain energy away from you. Strings and strands, patterns and habits, beliefs and programs. So your angels will come in and take out the energy, the program, the belief that you have been holding on to that has caused the block or the pattern or whatever it is that um, is preventing you from moving forward. So if I say we're going to do a clearing on um, abundance, um, removing anything that's stopping or blocking you from abundance, your angels are coming in and they're clearing away anything that is stopping or blocking your abundance. This could be a program. This could be a pattern. It could be something you heard when you were five years old or 16 years old, whatever it was. Um, it could be a belief system because of the way your parents were or the, the environment you grew up in or what you believe um, is possible to bring in for abundance. Whatever it is for you, and it, it, I try to leave it very open-ended so um, each and every person can uh, have the clearing. Some people have uh, are blocked because of this. Other people are blocked because of that. So in a moment, I'm going to take callers, and I am going to be answering questions and um helping them connect to loved ones on the other side. If you would like to call in, the number is 845-277-9131. Yeah, 845-277-9131. And you can call in and I will take your call. If you're calling in and you have a question, please make sure you hit, I think it's one, hit one, so that I can see your hand raised and you, I can get to you and answer your question. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, I can't remember what else. Okay, so we're going to get started. Um, we're going to get started. I'm going to go to the very first caller. Uh, when I call off your area code, please give me your name and your where you're calling from. My goodness, you guys, I am so out of it today. I cannot even, um, I can't wait to start channeling because apparently my brain is not functioning and it's time for me to channel. It's just time for me to channel. I want to say hi to everybody who's kind enough to join the chat on YouTube. Hey, Patrick. Hey, Joshua. Um, hey, Heather, Frankie, Vaughn, thank you all so much for joining me here today. I'm so grateful to have you guys here and joining me. I'm going to go to the very first caller, 929. <clears throat> 929, how can I help you today? Uh, yeah, this is Felicia. Uh, hey, how are you? Good. How are you? Where are you calling from, Felicia? I'm calling from Long Island right now. Okay, Felicia, can you do me a favor? If you're on speakerphone, can you take me off of speakerphone? Because it's kind of a little bit difficult. Yes. Thank you so much. And then what's yeah, your I, question I, I, or who would you like to connect with today? Um, okay, I have a question. I believe in regards to employment. I keep picking 
taking up energy around a high-end hotel. And I just wanted to know, do you see applying for this job this month or next month? Well, we're coming or here. Or if you want, I can connect to a loved one. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, we're coming near the end of the month. Um, <clears throat> I think there's a little bit less than a week left in this month, if I'm being accurate here. I feel like you should send it in, apply on the first or the second is what I'm hearing on the first or the second apply. And I do think you should apply to more than one place. I'm getting there's a total of four, four places that you, you have the potential to apply to. It's always good to have a choice when we are making a decision about employment, um, I do feel like there are going to be four very good places for you to, <clears throat> excuse me, please, four very good places for you to apply to. And two or three of them will make you an offer. So you want to make sure that you are uh, putting it out to several places, not just one, um, so that you can get a couple of offers and and um, go go with the best one for you, the way it feels and and financially, also. Okay, love. <clears throat> Sounds great, love. Okay, I'll chat with you soon. Thank you. You are so. I welcome. have to do a personal reading with you. You're great. I think you're. I don't mean to cut you off. I think you're just like probably one of the best psychics on Block Talk. Oh, gosh. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's so very kind good. of you. <laughs> thank you. That's very, All very right. kind thank of you. you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to go directly to the next caller. Um, but before I do, uh, 956, you're going to be next. But before I do, I want to, you know, one of the messages that I'm getting for everyone, not just... Um, that person that just called in, but basically for everyone in 956 and everybody else waiting on on the call log, please don't go anyplace because I am going to try to get to everybody today. Um, it's time to work. This is not a time to sit back. And um, there are some things coming in that we um, that I'm not going to go into. I'm not going to go into all of it, but you, we need to work now. So if you're a person who wants to work from home, I wor wrote, wrote down some places that you can apply to and work from home. And um, peopleperhour.com, upwork, U-P-W-O-R-K.com, fancy hands, fancyhands.com. Sorry. Um, I'm going to spell this next one out again, because I don't think people will quite understand. Belay Solutions, B-E-L-A-Y-S-O-L-U-T-I-O-N-S, solutions.com. Apple, Google, and Tesla also have positions that you can work remotely or from home. Yeah, Joshua. Yeah. Yeah. And for uh, for my people online, and I am going to get back to the callers, please don't go any place for my people online, the amount that has been sent to the Ukraine, whether you believe in this war or not, whether you believe it's real or not, the amount of money that has been sent to Ukraine is over four. Um, so I read one thing that said it's over 40 billion. But let's just go with the 13 billion they sent them originally. How much is that per American citizen? Can somebody do that math for me online and, and pop it into my chat? Um, 13 billion, but I, I read someplace that it's up to 40 billion. 40 billion American dollars being laundered in the name of war. How much is that per American citizen? How, how much is that per Yep, 40 billion was just sent. Thank you, Joshua. Uh, Joshua Benjamin, thank you so much. Hey, Sal, 40 billion. I believe that's on top of the 13 billion they've already sent. How much is that per American citizen? I need to know, I need to know, I need to know, I need to know. 
I'm I'm just saying, I'm just saying, um, forty billion just sent. I don't care what side of this you sit on. Forty billion American dollars just sent to another country again in the name of saving another country, saving another country's bound borders, saving another country. Forty billion plus the thirteen they've already, and we're talking billion, billion. Work, people. Get to work. If you need to work two jobs right now, do it. I'm telling you, I cannot say right now what's coming in. I cannot say what's going to happen. Bring in as much money as you can right now and start your basement or garage gardens. Do it. Do it. I cannot tell you on air. I cannot tell you what's about to happen. But do it. Okay, going to go to the next caller, uh, 956, 956. Hi, how are you today? Hi, thank you. I tried to get a hold of you on your last show. I guess it wasn't my time, but today is. <laughs> today is um, your day. <laughs> how can I help you, love? And I'm calling from Texas. Oh, uh, Texas. Awesome. Okay. What what can I how can I help you today, sweetie? Well, um, I know you're talking about work. I completely agree. If there's work out there, take it. Um I mean I mean this economy is not the best right now. I mean yeah. you have to work two jobs pretty much to make it. Yeah. I mean and it's having really a side yeah. hustle. I'm, I'm going to tell you, uh, for everybody who has a job, like seriously do something, figure out something you can do on the side also. And I know I say this all the time. I mean, I say this all the time. I talk about aesthetics, like learn to put lashes on somebody, learn to like, you know, the lash extensions, learn to do nails, learn to do something that even if. If something happens, you can bring people into your home and do this for for cash or do it for whatever. Have that side thing going and start building it up now. There are so many things that we can do on the side. Um, I'm just telling you. I'm just. I'm just saying. Um, just do what you can now to stabilize yourself and to have something moving forward. But, sweetie, let's get back to you. What's your actual question, love? My question is, of course, um, what can uh, you pick up as far as I, I'm going to start work on June 13th. Um, do you see room for growth in that, employment, in that environment or what, what do you pick up as to what can you tell me as far as the energy? Okay, so where you're going to start to work next, there's minimal, you're, there is room for growth, but it's not the type of growth that you're looking for. I do feel like you are going to be, um, where you're going now, it's not going to be your final place. I do believe you're going to have something else coming in. Um, and that something else is going to give you maximum potential maximum potential you are going to be able to expand on that a great deal i do believe you're, you're going to start this position and then in a month and a half something else is going to come in when that comes in that's where you're going to take off that's what's going to give you the growth that you really want don't be afraid to jump to a new position and or opportunity when it comes in it's going to be an opportunity that takes you very, very far. Okay, love? Okay. Yeah, I completely get it. So basically, my, it's just a temporary place where I'm going to be at. Yeah, stay until there is something new that comes in. Don't, don't leave 
um, until you have the next thing, no matter how long the next thing takes. But I do feel like you the next thing is going to come in within a month to a month and a half. And I do feel like you are going to enjoy the next thing a lot more. Now, I do want to say, you know, sometimes I say it's going to come in in a month to a month and a half, and then people just wait for it to like knock on their door. You are still going to have to actively look for this next thing, even though you are with mm -hmm. where you are. But I do feel like the next thing is going to be a really good fit for you. Okay, love? Yes, I'm actually starting a new job. It's in, the, in a month and a half. Oh, so you're about right. Okay, perfect, perfect. That's good. That's good. So you, Excellent. Yeah, you you're on the TV on the month and a half. Yeah, it, it's June the thirteenth, like I mentioned. It's okay. June the thirteenth. It's gonna be my new. Uh, I kept on looking and looking to finally. I thought that like this is gonna be. A, it was a little bit cutting pay, but it's a bigger company, and I feel like there's gonna be more room for growth. Okay, I feel this, like, you know, uh, when, you, when you start this company, it's going to be good. But I do feel like after you start this company, about a month after you start this company, something else is going to come in for you. So pay attention to what people are talking about. Pay attention to other offers that might come in. Pay attention to what your friends and or family are doing. I do feel like there's another position coming in <clears throat> that's going to be really good for you. That's going to offer you a lot of, um, a lot. it's just going to allow you to have uh, better benefits uh, and, and more movement within the company. Okay, love. Now, is that with the same company she's going into? No, it might be outside of the company that you're going into right now. So pay attention and um, keep your eyes open even after you start where you're going next. Okay, love? Okay, I will do that. Thank you very much. You are so welcome. You have an amazing rest of the day, sweetie. Thank you so much for calling. I'm so happy that you were able to get through. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 860. Please, please forgive my voice today. I've been having a little... <clears throat> A little stuff going on with my... Hi, Tony. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Amla. How are you? Amla. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Um, so I have a question. Uh, I'm actually going to Florida next week, and I'm just... I'm really excited. I need this trip. It's just been such a crazy six months and to say the least but I'm just wondering do you see me meeting some really cool interesting people there I actually I do. How, how might that go I feel like you are going to meet uh they're using the word an eclectic group of people I feel like there are going to be <clears throat> a lot of people that come in that are very helpful for you and your business I feel like you are going to meet a lot of people that are from different walks of life and offer you different perspectives. You can listen to all this per perspectives. You don't have to buy them all. It's like uh, they're showing me a fruit stand. You can look at all, all the beautiful fruit. You're not going to buy all the beautiful fruit. But what you don't pay attention right. to now, right. pay attention to it for later. I do feel like you are going to have some very, very, very good very good. Um, oh my goodness. You're going to have some very good um, information come to you on this trip. I do feel like you do need to really focus in and use your discernment for it. And I do feel like the people that you are in contact with on this trip, you're going to be in contact with them intentionally. So please make okay. sure that you are paying attention to the conversations. Don't blow any of the conversations off. You don't have to give everybody a lot of time, but just do do be mindful of what people uh, um, like the the conversations that you are having with people. Okay, love. 
Yeah. Um, do you feel like I meet somebody special down there as well, like a relationship person? I do feel like there's... Yeah, I think there is the potential. I think it would be a little bit difficult. Um, here's what I'm getting, and I'm I'm going to okay. be honest with you. I think okay. you're going to meet someone, and there's going to be a bit of a click between the two of you. However, I do believe that you guys' political views are going to be very different, and I feel like that's going to be enough for one or both of you to not pursue it. Um and that's okay, because I, I think there are certain things that people, it's it's better if they're on the same page of, okay? I do think it's going to click, <clears throat> whoever this gentleman is, if it's not a political view, it's going to be a personal view, but whatever it is, it's enough to, like, you have a, a connection, but you don't, you don't keep connected, you kind of you let it go. Well, I feel like you let it go within a month. Um, I feel like you're going to realize like, ah, I think we just, our, our views are too different. That doesn't mean don't talk to this person. I do think that something valuable will come from the connection. Um, even if you don't keep the connection. Okay, love. Okay. That sounds great. I'll definitely keep you posted. I appreciate it. I love that. Thank you so much. Thank you. You have an amazing trip to Florida. I hope you enjoy it. And God bless, love. Thank God you. Bless. Take care. You Take too. Care. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. I am going to um, do another healing or clearing. And this one is going to be that um, I, I'm going to do a clearing that for those who are looking for work and or promotion that it comes in quickly and it's the perfect position for them let's clear that to a solid yes oh um three eight six three eight six how can i help you today <clears throat> hi tony this is cindy um i guess i'll ask you about uh the job i'm on right now also is I've been with this um, job for about a month and a half, a little more. I was wondering if you see it um, being stable and full time, or is it going to be seasonal? If you see any opportunity coming out of this position, it just kind of just dropped in my lap um, and offered to me uh, through a neighbor of mine that I'm a neighbor of help, and then I stayed on. Okay, so Cindy, your call is breaking up a bit, but I think if I have it correctly, you want to know if the position that you're at right now, if it's a stable position and if you're going to be staying there. Um, and what I'm going to say is it is, it's stable. Is it seasonal? I feel like it is going to be seasonal. I do feel like um, it, it is more of a, excuse me, it's more of a temporary position. Um, I do feel like you should probably be exploring or looking for a new position. I do feel like something, if you do, if you actively look, I feel like you'll find something within four weeks that's going to be prominent for you and is going to help you I uh, have something a little bit more permanent as long as that's what you're looking for. I do feel like you are going to um, enjoy the next position more than the one that you have right now. Uh, so please make sure that you are paying attention to what else is, what other opportunities are available for you um, as, as you're, as you're out there and over the next couple of weeks, I do feel like they are going to, um, I, I, and Cindy, I hate to say this, but it's, it just is what it is. And I'm going to say it. Um, I do feel like the, when you go, it won't be your choice. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry, everybody. It won't be your choice. It's going to be their choice. 
they're going to um, end the agreement between the two of you. So really start looking now. And it's not anything that you've done. They're not going to let you go because of um, anything with you. It's just, I'm hearing the word semantics. It's just semantics. It's just, it is what it is. Um, you weren't brought on to be a forever person. You were brought on to kind of be a filler. So knowing that, please um, be conscientious and look for that next position that can help you um, keep your work steady, okay? I'm going to go directly to the next, <coughs> excuse me, I'm so sorry, everybody, 530. 530, please take me off of the speakerphone. How are you today? Okay. Well, there's a playback of the last thing I just said. So there's that. <laughs> I'm going to go to 708. 708, if you have me on speakerphone, please take me off of speakerphone. Here we go. How can I help you, 708? Hi. I've never uh, listened to your show before, but I thought I'd call in today anyway. So, um, I love that. I was wondering, what, what do you see for me regarding starting my own business? Well, since since you never listened to my show before, you're going to, I'm going to tell you, I think everybody should be an entrepreneur, even if it's a part-time entrepreneurship. I think it's a great idea. I think you should do it. I think um, the way America is going to gain its bearings again and get back on track is by more entrepreneurs or more people stepping up and doing uh, their own thing on the side and not depending on on um, on being uh, employees um, where they have certain restraints and controls put over them. I'm going to tell you, I think you should start your own business. I think you should put everything into action, start get prepping everything now, start getting everything together and um, doing what you need to do to take that action. I do feel like if you start doing everything now <clears throat> in a very short period of time, perhaps by I'm hearing July could be your takeoff month, meaning your startup or, or start month. The one thing I am hearing for you though, with your own business is, slow and grow grow with your grow with your clientele grow with your business don't go in guns a blazing meaning starting i have to have don't think you have to have everything before you start um start with what you have and grow from there don't 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 bite off more than you can chew in the beginning um so that you are stable throughout it. Um, I do believe everybody should be an entrepreneur full-time or part-time, but I also think we should do it sensibly and reasonably that we are not um, putting ourselves in debt to become entrepreneurs uh, because then we're just working, <sighs> we're just working to pay off that debt rather than to profit. So the if you if you can do it in a minimal starting off in a minimalistic way is going to be much better for you than starting off uh, uh, like they're using the term again guns a blazing. Okay, love. Thank you so much for joining me. I love each and every single one of you. Until Monday, um, please have a great weekend. Thank you again. Thank you.